Hi, welcome to Data Engineering and today we are going to discuss about how to write a Spark UDF. Okay, so Spark UDF user defined function. So before getting into the video, if you want to uh, get all the complete playlist, the video list of videos for Big Data course, I have shared the Big Data playlist link in the description box of this video. If you go to that playlist, you can get complete course, Big Data course videos as a playlist you can get. Fine, so uh, getting into the topic. So uh, UDF is something uh, we call it as user defined function. Uh, UDF is very familiar terminology so we used to have the same UDF uh, creation in Hive as well and Spark even in MapReduce we do have and even in NoSQL databases like HBase and Cassandra we still used to have this UDF so I'll tell you what is UDF and why it is required so we all are familiar with the predefined functions for example let's take Hive okay or mysql or oracle whatever it is so even outside the world of big data also still we have this user defined function so so i'll tell you like predefined function so if you take hive right so you have functions like min max sum right so you do have these functions and you use this function in your sql statement right so if you use min for a column it will give you the give you the minimum value and you have something called count as a function and then uh, a max is a function average is a function so we do have this predefined function so now imagine i have a requirement and i don't have a, a function which is already existent hive not going to help for me for this particular use case so i have to do something different but that function is not already available in hive or in spark so you can write your own function and you can define that as a udf so i'll show you how to do that so uh, today my uh, requirement is like i have two columns serial number and then name so i'll have like one comma gautam uh, two comma some name and three comma some name so on so so if you see in my second column the name column the name the first letter will be small letter for all the records. So my requirement is I have to change the first letter alone to uppercase. I don't want to uh, convert my complete name column value to uppercase. I just need to convert only the first letter of the name to be converted as an uppercase. Now for this, we don't have any uh, predefined functions available in Spark so that I'm planning to write my own function so that is called custom function or you can call it as a user defined function so once you have done with the user defined function you created a logic now how come you will inform to the spark that this is treat this as a udf because when you say like you give some function name all of a sudden how come spark understands okay this is a user defined function and this is not a predefined function how come spark categorize it so so all these things i'll i'll going to explain in this video okay so first of all let's try to create a data first so what i'm doing here i create val call a sequence list with serial number and name i'm preparing the header for my data and then val data equal to sequence of i'm i'm just created three records one comma gautam 2 comma nandini 3 comma sarana this is a name okay it's a name and then i'm converting uh, the data to df and i'm passing my calls so which is like I'm, I'm passing my schema okay so let me run this so if you run this so let me enter into spark shell so i'm, I'm going to show you in spark shell you can do it with the dot scala as well and the same format is what we do in dot java as well it means if you are using java and then it's it's the same way of uh, uh, informing the spark how to use udf and all those stuff the procedure what i'm going to show you with scala is same only you have to change it to the code to java that's it okay so i'm preparing the data here okay now you can you can able to see here so i have like uh one two three three records and then gautam nandini saravanan and you can see it's all like small case because my input itself the first letter is small now my agenda is to convert my first letter of my name to uppercase okay so back so for this i'm going to write a code okay so this you can see as a separate code i created a u case function and then i'm i'm, I'm just uh, passing one argument i'm expecting one argument for this function so string is a data type and string quote is a variable name so in scala we used to first pass variable name and then data type and then the delimiter between these two is colon in java we used to pa we used to give data type as first and then variable as second so this function accepts one string argument now inside so val dt equal to string code uh, split by space so i'm i'm just separating that with a space and then i'm i'm passing it to a map function and then i'm i'm doing an iteration so f dot substring of 0 comma 1 for example let's take a name of name first name okay gautam so what it will do so f dot substring of 0 1 so it will take the first letter g 
and then I'm converting it to uppercase. So that means this will just convert to G. Now, then I'm doing a concordination here. That means, so you need the balance, right? So plus you need O, W, T, H, A, M. So the remaining piece of my name, the remaining letters. So I'm, I have to concordinate it. So for F dot substring, one comma F dot length, and then I'm, con I'm converting the whole piece to a string. So that means the output from this line will be G, O, W, T, H, A, M. The first letter will be capital letter. Okay, so now you have written a code for your custom logic, but that is completely fine. But how come I will I will I will say that this function should be act as a UDF in Spark, and how I will inform to the Spark that treat this function as an UDF? How to do that? Okay, so if you see here, this is where the magic happens. So I'm creating an function called custom UDF. You can give any name here, and this UDF UDF is a syntax the predefined function to which you can pass any of your function and after this point after you execute this line then spark will consider this u case as a udf because you are passing your function to udf that means your function has been turned as an udf in the name of custom udf okay so this is if someone asks you what is your udf name this is your udf name so just copy this uh, go to your spark shell enter okay so okay i have to execute this okay so i haven't executed this so let me first execute this now let's go for this now you can see the udf created so the udf what you have created for this u case is custom udf now uh, let's see how to use this udf so first let's go with the data frame so first of all if you see here the very first line line number 23 i'm just selecting serial number and then name uh, and I'm doing a show. So I'm not using any UDF here. So as is, I'm just selecting it. So if you see here, still I'm not getting the first letter as capital letter because I'm not using any UDF here. If you see in line number 24, df.select call serial number and then I'm using my UDF. You can see here, UDF of call of name. So when you run this, now the first letter of your name will be in caps. See, G caps, N caps, S caps. So first letter of your uh, name has been converter to uppercase now if you want to use the same with spark sql if you are doing it in spark sql you have to register this so this way you have to register so spark.udf.register custom udf the function name of this custom udf is u case you have to register this okay and then you can uh, for the df you can create a temporary table and then spark.sql you can use a normal sql uh, to fetch the columns just pass the udf like this like how you pass min max function in your sql statement similar to that you can do this so in real time we used to write a lot of udf and you need to know how to write an udf and how to use it in the spark code so that is the agenda of the video so if you see like most of the time Without UDF, you, you can't see any Spark applications in the real time. Mostly they used to uh, do uh, this time conversion, like uh, uh, time date time to timestamp or timestamp to date time, something like that. And then they used to uh, have some complex logics, like three to four lines of complex logic for each column. I cannot write a three to four lines of code for each column. So they will convert that complex logic to a UDF and they will use it as a one single word, like how we did here. So uh, like this is how you will see a lot of UDF in the system. Like, like, uh, for example, you have to do a currency conversion. So we don't have a predefined function in Spark. So you can write a custom logic for currency conversion, INR to USD, USD to uh, INR, something like that. So uh, the main agenda of the video has been completed. So this is what the logic that whatever you want, you can, you can write on your own. But the video helps you to uh, understand how to write your logic in Spark as a custom UDF and how to convert that as an UDF in the Spark and how to use it okay so thanks for watching uh, the video and if you really like this uh, video please do subscribe my channel forward this to your friends and colleagues and it's a request that uh, please share this in your linkedin and as i already told you if you want the complete tutorials of big data you can find the playlist link in the description box of the video you can click that you can see all the big data videos starts from what is big data to i'll be keep on adding more videos to it in an order you can follow that uh, and i also have uh, i also share my instagram and linkedin profile in my description box if in case you want to contact me you can contact via that thanks for watching watching.